Hey guys, welcome back. It's Claytano. Thanks so much for tuning in as always. We're actually on stream right now. Uh, I have Gingerlicious on voice with us, and we're going to be going over the Elite Foggy Prison Dungeon. Um, you can run it once a day, and then if you want to support, you can support other people using one recharge, and you can get rewards from it uh, as well, which is pretty cool. And then I also have this ticket that I'm going to use. There's no reason not to use it um, like other dungeons if you want to save them until you get to higher levels. This, there's only one level. There's nothing else that needs to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and hit recharge entries, use ticket, and that'll give me an extra ticket. I'm going to go ahead and invite two people. Gingerlicious, hello, say hi. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Why are you so different as soon as the video turns on? It's so funny. No, it. I, I was muted, that's why. Oh, okay. So the uh, the strategy behind this, guys, is basically if you look at the records, you see that Prosper, J Babes, and Gingerlicious were the fastest to complete this on the server right now. So these are the two guys that I'm playing with. J Babes is in chat. I took his spot, and we're definitely not gonna <laughs> not gonna compete with this record time. But uh, the idea is that we'll go over some of the strategies so that way you guys can uh, hopefully beat this dungeon with your guild uh, or your friends as well. So the main thing behind this is that there's there's two main bosses that you're going to be playing with or against. Um, so that's why Ginger is bringing Lin. I'm also bringing Lin. He's bringing a uh, damage dealer. And then Vanessa is the main tank. Obviously a really good tank right now. Gives attack boost, gives uh, defense break, and attack down, which is all great things. I'm bringing a support unit to... Uh, basically, you need to have at least one stripper in your team. Uh, so I have been dubbed with a stripper. <laughs> Typically, it's your lowest attack power player because uh, everybody else can do damage uh, a little bit more than I can probably at this point. So I'm bringing the stripper, which is my Delphoi. Her skill one is a strip. Um, and then Prosper, Prosper is just going to be doing some uh, you know, basic three star level 70s you know super high uh monster power with with that um but yeah that's that's about it so we'll go ahead and get prosper to ready up here and we will get into it cool. also uh segment strips too so having the two is really beneficial yeah yeah so segment strips too that's right i didn't know segment strips actually yeah. she doesn't do that in uh in Sky Arena, so uh, I'm pretty sure she does actually. She doesn't. No, she doesn't strip in Sky Arena. At least she I didn't she, when like, I played. Absorb buffs and like spread them to the team. I could she be didn't when I played. Um, the other thing too to note is that uh, if you are looking for strips and you don't have a stripper on your team, um, you can actually switch over to the light, the light wand if you're playing Orbia. And that has a strip on it too, your skill too. Um, you can see applies block beneficial effect if it effectively removes a buff from the other unit. So you definitely just want strips. Um, there, like I said, there's two two different bosses. Um, you'll be kind of baited into just killing one first and then going after the second one. But you actually want to keep them both alive. So like we're we're doing right now, we're killing the towel, but. Eventually, we're going to um, kind of even out the damage on Vita, which is this one. Uh, this one does damage based on attack speed. So that's why you want to remove her buff before it gets like too out of, out of hand. And I don't know where I'm at right now. Yeah, so I just got hit by Tal, which he does this little charge move. And I have to use my Vanessa to revive. Like I said, it's super good right now to have Vanessa because you just revived. Um, but you see, every time the boss has a buff up, it's pretty much gone because of the strips. And then you're just attack break, burning, damage dealing with lens, lens for days, moving over. I personally like to use the whistle while you work. Uh, which is this, so that way all your monsters follow you around and you can get them out of harm's way, because what I've noticed is Lin's really good for bossing, but 
she's uh, she's not really one for um, being smart. And also, since I'm playing Orbia, which is by far the weakest main character <laughs> to start <laughs> off with, uh, so hot tip, uh, if you're playing Orbia, don't. Just make a new character and be anything else, but oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. I actually died, yeah. Oh, I didn't die. What? How did I not die there? Interesting. You're, you're nuts, dude. I, yeah, I'm... <laughs> oh, I'm almost dead? Okay, so I gotta, I gotta kind of regroup here because I yeah. legitimately Just almost died. Stay focused. Yeah, stay focused. Okay, I'm getting back in there. Yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm back in the fight. Yeah. Recovered. Somebody's got to get this Vita off me there. But That's yeah, so... a big thing though. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're fine. I was just gonna what say it? that's actually a big thing, like nerves and stuff, because like people see that they're almost dead and then they'll panic and just like stand in something. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I've done that probably multiple times. You think like, oh, you're one shot away, you just gotta nuke it down, and then next thing you know, you're you're cutting to the end screen and it's like, sweet, I just won, but then it's like, nope, I actually just lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we've all had that happen once or twice. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have my Delphoi from now on on my uh, on my hot bar, so that way I can help with the buff removal. And I'm actually gonna switch over to Vita, wherever she is. Yeah. So they do this little like thing. You just gotta step out of there, and that's why I like to have the whistle on, so that way you can get your monsters out of the way. One of them does a charge skill, which does a lot of damage. Um, so I just, I just removed the buff right there. Uh, and then the other one does like this, uh, laser beam Lux style skill, which is, you know, just a, a shot across the, across the map. Um, they'll do it right after they blink. So they'll blink and they'll be gone for like a second. You'll be like, where are they? Uh, and then they'll show up like there, there's the blink. And then you'll start moving like slow and have to get out of the way. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna switch back to Vita. Oh, all my stuff's dead, by the way. Oh. Why? Should be, should be fine. Uh, I don't know. Did you? Um... They were there for a minute, and now they're gone. Oh. Okay. We're we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're probably fine. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, if you also, if you die, um, you can revive for 60 crystals. It's not always worth it, depending on where you're at. Um, and if you think your team can actually finish the fight, then spend the 60 crystals, especially if you're like working on a quest or something. Um, otherwise, just die, reset, start over, fight another day, save the, save the gems. Move out of the way here. We probably want to get Vita a little lower before we push. Yeah, I'm I'm on Vita. Vita, I think, is the stronger one in my opinion, but yeah, it's just higher one shot potential. Yeah. Where the other one's just annoyingly tanky. Okay, wait. Tau. Insufficient range. Yeah, so you just want to get him down, right around the same HP. Right at the same time, for the most part, this guy's gonna burn to death before he even switches. Oh, so this is him switching to his beast mode, but he's gonna die before he even gets anything off. But yeah, so he gets really, um, really, really buffed. Look, see, he's like one HP. But um, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much all the strategy behind it. I obviously use my fire staff most of the time because I wanted to to burn. I did get a nice legendary drop here, so that's pretty sick. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my got a legendary it. weapon. Damn. I, I can't pull up the stats. Okay, I just I guess I just click on it. Oh, okay. Attack percent, crit rate, and accuracy. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. So this is where you get some good equipment from, obviously. And then um you'll use these foggy prison coins in the foggy prison shop. Um, I think it's actually just called the the raid shop. Um, 
and you can actually buy some better equipment there, legendary equipment, awakened legendary equipment. And um, yeah, it's a good way to level up your power. Um, you just come here. I have 117. You can continuously do it over and over. Battle support, you won't get the rewards every time. So you only have zero out of one or one out of one available participation rewards. Um, and then after that, you're just kind of helping your, your guild mates out while you're fighting the boss. Um, and then there's some, some uh, quests that make you fight them over and over again. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, let me, let me know if this helped or if there's something that is, uh, is worth it for you. I was going to make some videos on the other bosses as well, or the other, uh, rift raids. And aside from that guys, as always, uh, Ginger, if you want to say hi, bye, or anything, uh, appreciate you having, appreciate you, appreciate, pleasure having you, <laughs> appreciate you being on, uh, today and, uh, appreciate the invite, bud. It was yeah, fun. Thanks. Thanks for the carry. Yeah, no worries. All right, guys. Stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Prosper, as well.